Hey YouTube, it's Audrey, and I wanted to share with you a few cards that I made from the leftovers from my wallet mini, which I did for Christy, who's Twins for V2's challenge here on YouTube last week. And I took a page out of Kim Poss' book, Who's Kim? Um, and she used her papers from her projects to make little cards from. And I had mentioned that I really needed to do that. And so that's what I did for um, the papers left over from this particular one. I have used one other sheet of cardstock. But otherwise it was all the papers that was left over except for um, the two large card bases. Which are Michael's card bases. And then all I have left is this strip here. Which I will probably use to punch something out for two of the cards I'll show you this strip and this piece and this strip and I actually could have made another card out of this strip but I thought I would save that for matting some other photo mats and this piece for matting um so but otherwise I used all the rest up so first off I made a couple flat cards um, just to throw in a giveaway box or um, in a package, a rack. And this one I just cut squares of the paper and then I used Tim Holtz word dies and it's kind of hard seeing it here on video but it says thank you. I cut the thank out of the stripe paper and then I cut the U out of a different paper. So in person it looks a lot easier on the eyes than it seems to on this video but i thought that was a little different the other side is just blank i could write a little note and stick that in a box or envelope same thing with this this could be just a little card a note card for um, someone who wins one of my challenges so same thing on this side i just added um, a piece of paper and I noticed that I put the paper the sentiment upside down because it was supposed to go like this with the stripe on the left oh well it's like that maybe now I have to put a stripe on this side too <laughs> oh well you get the gist of what I was gonna do or what I was planning this is just a three by three card um, with birdcage paper on the top inside is blank for now I figure I could add a cut out and stamp a sentiment when I determine what I want to use it for another 3x3 three three card I could stamp a sentiment here layered two color pink card stocks the striped paper and put this little heart resin there then on the inside it's just another piece of the striped paper this is a 4x4 four four card and once again I could use that other pink card stock to cut out a label shape or just stamp on here or just put something a little stamp sentiment down here and then the inside just has a strip of um, that pink flower pattern paper. This is a birthday card. Um, I used Spellbinders die and did a cut out here of the shape. Layered that on top of the cardstock, which is on top of a cream base. And then this is a happy birthday to you layered sticker from Anna Griffin. Inside, excuse me, stack two pieces of paper on the left, and then have a fabulous birthday is a stamp from Anna Griffin. And then the last card also is on the Michaels um, square card base in the cream. I used the birdcage paper. I used um, the scallop punch, I believe, or the cloud punch from um, We Are Memory Keepers Corner Chompers. I added a, another Spellbinders die cut out of this pink and white pattern paper and then another layered sticker from Anna Griffin that says get well soon and on the inside 
sending you warm wishes for a quick recovery, another Anna Griffin stamp, and then just another strip of the paper. So, I actually did it, Kim. I took your suggestion, made some cards, and I'm going to try doing that more often with um, the leftover papers from projects that I have. So thank you so much for watching and you have a great and very blessed day. Bye-bye.